Hello, this is Melissa Rand with the Aqua Cares Home Safety TV show. And I bet you have seen this familiar face before. I'm here again with Mary Beth Phillips, the president and CEO of Meals on Wheels Plus. Hello again. Hello, Melissa. Love Thank this. you for coming by today. So great to see you. And you look beautiful every single time I see Thank you. Thank you. So. <laughs> and so do you. Thank you. Thank you. So today is actually a very important day. Um, Tell us what today signifies and kicks off for you. So today kicks off the Child Hunger Awareness Week. And this is when we acknowledge that there are children who are hungry uh, in our world. And so the Food Bank of Manatee, one of the plus programs of Meals High Meals Plus, is helping to um, get the word out and also to get food out to children and their families, especially during the summer. So we have a wonderful program. We started during COVID, mm -hmm. which is called Food for Families. And we distribute breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a family of five for two or more days. So wow. it's at least 30 meals going out to our families. And we work with the school district of Manatee County and follow their summer break spots. Uh, there are buses that give out lunch. And on Fridays and Thursdays, we're giving out these meals for the weekend for our children. Wow. So that was actually going to be ne my next question. How are, do you select the families? But it's going by the, the bus stops? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so there are certain locations that Manatee County Schools um, will bring food for lunches uh, every day throughout the summer. And so we follow those buses okay. on Fridays to different areas to make sure that we get food out to those children and their families for the weekend. That's that's family of five too, so that's big. It's big, so yes. So just on the off chance, and I don't know, but you never know, how do these families know if they're, do they know they're part of it at this point? Do they know how to qualify? Do they know where to pick up? Well, they pretty much know by, by following the school district okay. um, break spots, and then we send out our information as well, so they know. And, um, you know, it's amazing that the families do find out about it, especially the families that are in need of food. And I think they share that information amongst each other. So, so we are really there to capture the weekend food, which is missing when the children are out of school. So mm -hmm. when they're in school, there are certain agencies that work with the schools, but when they're out of school, that's when we don't know and it's hard to reach them. So this is the avenue that we use to reach them and their families. Right. Wow. That's wonderful. Yes. And I do know, and I'm very proud to say, shameless plug for Aqua Plumbing and Air, um, but we are partnering, we're helping. So for that week, Aqua Plumbing and Air is sending out a, a newsletter to all of our current clients. And for anyone that may have a service call that day, you'll have a little bit of snippet of information in case you wanna be able to help or um, just to spread that word to our, our thousands of people. Well, so. as the Independent Food Bank of Manatee County, we do rely on our community support. Um, because this weekend food, we have to purchase that food, we have to pack that food, and as I mentioned, distribute that food. So we do rely 100% on the community to support us. Absolutely. And one of the other programs, you know, in light of this important week of child hunger awareness is we provide formula to babies up to age two every single week. So you can imagine families that don't have food, they certainly can't afford diapers or formula or baby food. Um, so that's where the Food Bank of Manatee offers this wonderful program. And so we're very happy to that's uh, great. And use I, that as well. I think that's a huge piece, especially mm -hmm. right now, because even really those who can afford it can't find it. Yes. Yeah, so it's been a really big challenge for a lot of people across the country. I know finding mm -hmm. it and, um, you know, we are here to get it to the families that need it for their babies and children. That's wonderful. Um, is there any last? Well, we always need a volunteers to help us pack this oh. food or distribute this food. So if anyone has time out there, we, we would love to have you come and help us. How rewarding. Yes. That would be. Yes. So thank you. Yes, you're welcome. We will definitely have the information to um, inquire about becoming a volunteer and the information for Meals on Meals Plus for you on this segment. Um, but you obviously see how passionate Meals on Meals Plus is to us as Aqua Plumbing and Air. So we really hope that you can help. Um, it's a big week, big week especially now for families who have shortage and can't afford it in general. So we're happy to help. 
And I hope that this segment helps. And I hope that you all take some information and reach out to Meals on Wheels Plus. Hi again, I'm here with Rachel now from All Faiths Food Bank, the Director of Philanthropy. (laughs) Hi there. Um, And I'm sure our viewers have seen your face a few times also. (laughs) All Faiths Food Bank is another recipient of our Aqua Cares giving. Um, And today, as we heard before in a previous segment, today kicks off the day of Child Hunger Awareness Week. Correct? Yes, yes. Tell us what that means for you and how you handle that. So um, we have just finished wrapping up a campaign to raise the funds necessary to feed children during the summer months. And that process is a very large feat because there are nearly 40,000 children in our community that are going to need our help because they are used to relying on free and reduced meals Mm -hmm. when school is in session. And so... uh, The Campaign Against Summer Hunger is really our way to align with this awareness piece um, to be able to start doing the work necessary in the community. So that looks, it looks a little different every single year, but primarily we uh, partner with schools, Mm -hmm. um, early learning coalition, uh, like-minded organizations like the Boys and Girls Club. We have many outlets, about 200 uh, different organizations that we've convened together to help make sure that families and children have access to food during the summer. That makes sense. And I always ask, I think it's important, on the off chance that there are families out there watching um, that go, huh, I I didn't even know this was coming up. How can they be a part of it if they're ones that are in need? Oh, that's a great question. So we have a food finder tab on our website, allfacefoodbank.org, or we can always have people call our main line. Um, We have folks here that are happy to answer questions and help um, with anything that people need. Just making sure that we get access to food to them where they are at. So if they're located in a certain area of the county, we want to make sure that we find them the resources that are closest to them. That's right. And you do serve Sarasota as well as DeSoto counties. That's correct. That's right. Okay. Yeah, two different, completely different uh, landscapes, I would say, uh, but the effort is still very real. Uh, there's 100% free and reduced meals in DeSoto County. So, and we have about 40% in um, Sarasota County. So we've got a lot of work to do. So will your, does the week, does your Child Hunger Awareness Week go from Sunday to Sunday or Sunday to Friday? I, th- I, I feel like it happens all summer long. All summer long. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a great reminder for the kickoff for us to be able to do that. And we couldn't do it without Aqua's help. We could not do it without Aqua's help. The volunteers are really the individuals that are help us work every day. They are the boots on the ground, and mm-hmm. we rely solely on their backs and their time um, and their friendships in the community to be able to deliver food to these children. We could not do it without Aqua. Thank you. And When we were coming to have this interview, there was a great group of volunteers that were leaving and they actually looked right at you and thanked you. Thank you for having them to help out. So that that's it. That's a big deal. People people do appreciate helping. Um, and another thing that I realized today on our food bank tour, if you're an organization, a big business, and you want to have a day of care, day of helping, contact them and get a group of employees together and come for a half a day and help. Yeah, so, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and it is it's a great way for um, organizations to do team building activities. Mm-hmm. You know, you have a meaningful way to engage in the community and bring some groups of people together and actually have fun you know we've been through a really hard time and we still are struggling there's economic impacts that continue to affect so many people so togetherness like a volunteer experience is one of the ways that we can do something really good and also establish those relationships absolutely and it doesn't have to be a a year-long commitment it can be a day it can be an afternoon it can be anything that you're in need for That's at the time. Right. And you know, and I, I am redundant, but I do like to mention to the families out there, like you said, we are in a really difficult time right now with a lack of inventory and inflation, all the things. So you may find yourself as a family that has never had to come to a food bank. Maybe has, whether it's pride or you just haven't had to. Utilize the resources because that is really what everyone here is 
here for. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter if it's one day of need mm -hmm. or if it's years of need. The food bank is designed to lead the community to make certain that we have all the resources available to get food into the hands of the people that need it the most. Perfect. Thank you so much, Rachel. Aww. Good luck this week getting all those boots on the ground and all those meals out to the families. It's wonderful. Aww. I love chatting with you all the time. I know. So. I love chatting with you too. Thank you so much. You're welcome.